it was nursing pushed to its very limits, I think, um, when we were down there. Any bravery that we may have had was inspired by the chaps that, that we were looking after. When we were going down there, nurses had been trained to a high standard in the Navy to be nurses. However, we hadn't been trained ever to be on a, a ship, a hospital ship. And I think it was quite quickly that we realised, um, once we saw this lovely ocean liner, and then we saw the enormity of trying to transfer that into a hospital ship. It came across that HMS Sheffield had been hit. And there was almost a, a quietness amongst us all. You know, we all sort of thought, um, this, is, this, this is for real now. Once we got to the Falklands, every nurse really, including myself, was just so concerned that we were doing the very, very best that we could possibly do. It's, it's hard to, for anybody to picture it, but it was pretty grim. The lads were obviously in pain, a lot of them. They had had horrendous injuries, um, disfiguring injuries, you know, the screams and the cries and everything like that from the chaps because they were in so much pain. I think I was astounded by the bravery that I witnessed down in the Falklands. You just thought these aren't just soldiers, these are very, very special men. There was also a huge sadness because we'd had to witness so many awful life-changing situations for the chaps because, you know, they would not be coming back in the same way that they had gone. 40 Incredible Tales of Courage, 40 Years On. Read Lord Ashcroft's new book, Falklands War Heroes. Available at Biteback, Amazon and all good bookstores.